On today's show, we're going to show you how to make a temperature tower in Cura 4.0. Stick around. Hey, welcome to the first layer. My name is Richard Cleveland. I'm your host here every Wednesday and live stream Saturday night. That's right. We do a live stream every Saturday night so that we can engage with you and answer your questions live for about one hour every Saturday at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. If you're new here, welcome. This is a show that deals with the world of 3D printing and we cover everything from reviews to how to's, uh, a few tutorials along the way. Just like the one we're doing today, we are diving into Cura 4.0 and showing you how to make a temperature tower. Now, why is a temperature tower important? Well, a temperature tower is important for your filament because it shows you where you are getting your best angles, where you're getting your best layer adhesion, how your bridging is working, and a couple of other things along the way. Now, we are going to prepare a temperature tower today. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's first of all head over to our computer. We're right there. There we are. We've got our Creality Ender 3 loaded. Now first things first, we've got, we have to go and download a heat tower. Now this heat tower is the one that I use. I've used it very successfully in the past. It works really well and it shows you exactly what temperatures you're changing at. So this one is done by Ackland. Uh, it was published on April 3rd, 2017. It's called the Heat Tower, uh, 190 to 245 millimeter steps. Now, if you go down into, into uh, his uh, description here, um, you can see that uh, Teaching Tech did a really good one. Um, Doogie Rick or Dougie Rick uh, also did one. 10% infill. We're not putting any infill into this. Um, we're going to leave this temperature tower hollow because uh, I really want to see how that works out. So let's go ahead and download it. Now, if I've over, I have already gone ahead and done that. Man, I am so tongue-tied today and I don't know why. So I've already gone ahead and downloaded it. So let's head back over to Cura and let's load that temperature tower up. We want the one that says bridge right here so we're gonna click open there is our bridge okay rich so how do we get started well first and foremost let's go to our standard quality we're just going to do this at uh, 2.0 so it goes fairly fast what we want to make sure of though in our material this is where we set our temperatures is that our material is set to 240 because that's where we want our printer to begin printing at that temperature so once we've changed that, we can kind of close this out. We're not going to put on any supports and we're not going to have any additional bed adhesion. We're going to leave it just the way it is. But how do we go ahead? Let me zoom in on this. How do we go ahead and get this to do all these different temperatures and cure? It can be pretty daunting. Cure 4.0 is no different than older versions uh, that we have done this in. So what we want to do is we want to go up to our extensions panel, down to post processing, and you'll find that there's only one tab underneath post processing, and that is modified G code. So that's what we are going to do. Now we are going to uh, post process script. We're going to add a script. Now you can see there's several different ones in here. Pause at uh, height. We don't want that. The one that we want is change at Z, 5.11, and uh, this is experimental. This has been experimental way back into older versions as well, uh, but it does work, so we are going to change our height there. Now, let's run through this. We know that every five millimeters, our temperature is going to change. So, at when we reach change at five millimeters, we are going to change our temperature of our extruder. And we only have one extruder, so we are going to click the one that says extruder one temp, and we are going to change this 
to 235. And we're going to continue to add these, change at Z height. In this case, we're going to go to 10. And again, we are going to uh, change that extruder temp to 230. And we're going to keep doing this until we have it all the way up to where we need it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and then we'll come back and I will show you exactly what we've done. All right, so now we have all of our temperatures uh, set up. You can see that we've got a several post-processing scripts here. Now we can go ahead and hit close. And if we've done everything right, we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I may have missed a couple in there. <laughs> Let me just go back and check and see if I've missed a couple. Sometimes you might, and that's fine too. Just make sure that you have enough in there. We have 10. So we'll close that out. And 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is all we need. All right, so we know that this temperature tower set up the way that it is is going to take two hours and 33 minutes. So we're going to go ahead now and test our theory. We're going to save this to our SD card and then we'll uh, show you guys it printing over on the printer over here. So a temperature tower is not that difficult to actually produce. We've got one right here. We'll give you a close up of it and we'll see how we did with our temperature tower. So looking at this, let's start at the bottom at our 240. We can see right here that the heat really affected this PLA. Now this is the Mamarubot purple PLA. And as we go up these edges here, we can see as we get closer to the top that we've got much sharper edges for that overhang. And we'll show the overhang from the back. You can see how well that worked. And it's getting up into this range right in here that we've got the best looking overhangs. Now, if we go to the front, we can tell between 205 and 195, we've probably got our best layers. And if I had to hazard a guess here, I would say that right at that 200 is the optimum printing temperature for this Mamarubot filament. So that came out pretty good. Now what we'll do with this is we will hold on to it. We'll put a little piece of tape on the back side here and we will mark on there that this was Mamarubot purple filament and uh, our temperature should be at around 200 and we'll go from there. So next time that we print with this particular filament, we know for the environment that we're in that uh, 200 degrees is probably our best bet. Now let's turn that the right way. So that's all there is to doing a temperature tower. I recommend that you do a temperature tower for each and every new filament that you buy. Not just because you're buying PLA, because not all PLA is created equal. So I would do this for my PLA, I would do this for my ABS, I would do this for my Pet G or whatever filament that you're using. When you change colors, do a temperature tower. When you change filament types, do a temperature tower. And all you have to do is one, put some notes on it, toss it into a drawer, hold on to it for a future reference, and then you will always know when you come back that that purple filament from Mamarubot should be printed at about 200 degrees, and you're good to go. So with that said, that pretty much brings us to the end of the show. My name is Richard Cleveland, you guys know that, but in the house today recording for me, or manning the controls, is my good friend Brian Baker, one of our producers, there he is. And Jess is hiding over here now. There we go. So we got everybody in the house. So coming up, we're gonna give you guys a behind the scenes look at what happens right here at the first layer and uh, what happens here at Spool 3D. We'll give you a quick behind the scenes tour of that place too. So until next time, my friends, I wanna remind you that uh, Spool 3D is the people that give us this space. 
and we want to thank them for that and uh, that they have everything that you need from printers to filaments to parts and accessories anything that you need for your next build or your next upgrade so check them out today at spool3d.ca print it right print it with spool 3d and remember if you are new here hit that subscribe button also go ahead and hit that bell so you get notified every time that we put up a brand new episode so until then remember that the first layer is always your foundation to a great print